How did life on Earth begin? It could not come as a surprise if people could think about how life on Earth began. Perhaps some could think that life has begun as a result of growth, the reaction of stimuli, metabolism and reproduction, or energy transformation. Others seem to believe that life on Earth began due to biological processes. Won't you believe in that? Join me today as we explore more about how life on Earth began. Scientific Theory the Earth formed about 4.5 billion years ago as a molten sphere accreting planetesimals. For about its first 500 million years, the Earth was too hot for informational biopolymers and cells that helped it to form. About a half billion years later, the Earth cooled down, thus allowing the formation of life. According to the scientists' evidence, they suggest that fossil biosignatures indicate that life probably was formed as early as possible on the Earth. Considerably during this period of the formation of life, the Earth was absolutely hotter. For instance, the origin of life on Earth is an interesting story yet to be narrated on Earth. This is because there are quite a number of theories that elaborate on how life on Earth began. In the history of life, we look at microbes. Indeed, microscopic organisms were the earliest life forms in our universe. In this case, microorganisms left signals of their presence in ancient rocks from about 3 billion years ago. Surprisingly, the signals that were left were made up of carbon molecules which are produced by living things. All life on Earth contains carbon as an essential elemental building block. Interestingly, carbon is the simplest element capable of forming complex molecules related to life forms. Undoubtedly, this implies life had already existed, but how? Let me take you back to some concepts of science and biology as basics of how life has begun on Earth. To begin with, ribonucleic acid or RNA is a nucleic acid present in all living cells that has structural similarities. Due to this factor, RNA is very responsible for the origin of life. According to scientists, ribonucleic acid was the first molecule on Earth to self-replicate and begin the process of evolution, which resulted in more advanced forms of life. Given that the most crucial fundamental of all such ideas is the expression of hereditary information, which today requires extraordinarily complex machinery that starts from DNA to the protein through an RNA intermediate. How did this machinery arise? The RNA world existed on Earth before modern cells. Interestingly, RNA stored both generic information and at the same time it had the capability to catalyze the chemical reactions in primitive cells. Later on in evolutionary time did DNA take over as the genetic material and therefore the proteins became the major catalyst in structural components of cells. After things cooled down, simple organic molecules began to form under the reaction of hydrogen. Hydrogen molecules are linked up to form RNA, a molecule that is essential for life. There are hundreds of billions of different proteins used by living things, but all of them are made from the same 20 amino acids known as building blocks of life. Therefore, blood serves two major functions in any kind of life in which it exists. This is the first transport of food and waste products. There are hundreds of billions of different proteins used by living things, but all of them are made from the same 20 amino acids, the building blocks of life. According to evolutionary theory, all living things descended from various ancestral forms. The theory states that a species that existed before gradually turned into another and to their surprise, every present species emerged in the same process. Evolution theory elaborates that the transition took place slowly and gradually over hundreds of millions of years. Therefore, the theory claims that the existence of innumerable quantities of intermediate forms emerged and lived during long periods of the suggested periods. For instance, half fish and half amphibian creatures maintain fish-like characteristics. However, with certain acquired amphibious features are reptiles and birds with both reptilian and avian features. In addition, logic claims that abundant traces of any species in evolution are extensively found in fossil records. This is because the number of intermediate forms is much more significant than the number of animal species that are present on the Earth today. In his book of the origin of the series, Charles Darwin wrote, If my theory is true, numberless intermediate varieties, linking most closely all species of the same group together, must assuredly have existed. Consequently, evidence of their former existence could be found only amongst fossil remains. In this case, 250,000 fossils have been collected to date and there are absolutely some traces of intermediate forms. The essential building blocks for life, the monomers, were probably produced in relatively abundant concentrations given conditions on the early Earth. This implies that molecules are energy systems that derive energy and supplies from the environment, hence supporting the beginning of life. Evolution Theory 
In addition, Charles Darwin is often credited for the original warm little pond hypothesis, which proposes life may have formed from a combination of inorganic compounds and energy. Five Soviet biochemists Alexander Ivanovich Oparin revisited this idea and proposed life formed in an environment that lacked oxygen but was energized by sunlight. According to Stanley Miller and Harold, who addressed the origin of life by reproducing the conditions, they believe the presence of the primitive on Earth is where life has begun. By adding a mixture of water and inorganic compounds with electricity, they produced organic compounds, including amino acids, the building blocks of protein. The result catalyzed further experiments and at least to some, it appeared that the solution to life's mystery was about to unfold. When cyanobacteria evolved about 2.4 billion years ago, they marked a significant transformation. As a result, they became the Earth's first photosynthesizers making food using water and the sun's energy and as a result, they released oxygen. The earliest Earth was a naked planet, as described by Hadean bioscience colleagues. Undoubtedly, there was no ocean or atmosphere that was formed during that period of ancient Earth formation. These eventually appeared just before the Earth had been pelted by aqueous asteroid material. Just because there was once a liquid of water in the atmosphere, there was a greater chance for prebiotic life which formed the chemical precursors to life on Earth. In addition, the more rational elements of the society tended to take a more naturalistic view of the matter. In this case, one had to accept the evidence of one's senses to know that life began as a regular from non-living. The non-living of the early life included worms from mud, maggots from decaying meat, and mice from the refuse of various kinds. Just like very many other subjects, the origin of life has got a religious perspective. According to the special creation theory, life originated from a supernatural being, God. This theory is accepted majorly by faith as there is very little evidence that can be used to prove it. Most religions accept the concept of special creation in one way or another. Special creation. According to Christianity, for instance, the creation theory suggests that the earth was created in six literal days. The Bible, which is a Christian book for reference, states that plants were created on the third day. It further proceeds to say that the stars and moon were made on the fourth day. The sea creatures and the birds in the air were made on the fifth day. Animals that move on land, such as cattle, lions, and zebras, were created on the sixth day. It is also on the sixth day that humans were created. The supernatural being created man before creating a woman. The theory states that the supreme being breathed life into a soul who became a living soul. Those who object to the special creation theory say that it lacks logic and scientifically sound evidence. Charles Darwin is one of the scientists who strongly disagree with the special creation theory. As it believed in the divine creation of life, living organisms were formed on planet Earth by a supernatural power known as God. According to Christianity, the Bible states that the Creator formed all living organisms about 4004 BC within six days, as it is recorded in the Bible. Adam was the first man to be formed from clay about 6,000 years ago. The first woman to be formed on earth was Eve, who was created out of Adam's ribs. According to Hindu mythology, Brahma is the god of creation and created various life forms in just one stroke. Manu and Shraddha here was the first man and woman to be created as by the Hindus. The first life form was as a result of single-celled organisms that began to replicate on Earth. Like and share to get more exclusive videos on how life began on Earth.